Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I. <laughs> hey guys, we're back. No, bitch, shut up! Don't do this last time, shut up! <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we have a chit chat with. Yeah, yeah. Period. Like, y'all thought y'all got enough of us in Chicago? No, we came back with more. Yes. With yes. more. And a shot to start us off. Yeah. Tears in the freaking week. I have something different, guys. I'm so sorry. But it's still Norfolk Nasty theme. Yeah. Period. Exactly. Cheers yeah. to Norfolk Nasties yeah. and the wonderful yeah. advice we're about to give y'all. Period. Period. <laughs> okay guys y'all can start off by introducing yourselves just remind them who y'all are feel free to tag businesses because yeah y'all need to support my sisters or else period who like to start i guess i'll start um my name is sarah follow my hair page crown white spies book your appointment and yeah it's up. <laughs> here she go <laughs> Baby, um, yeah, that's my Instagram handle. Make a business coming soon. Period. Y'all see that beat? You see that beat? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Yeah, you hosts can't blend for real. <laughs> so she about to get all right. Okay, so let's get started. It's going to be two portions. First of all, don't be peeking over here, Miss Girl. We got two portions. We got the college aspect and we got the post grad because we are currently living in post grad. So we're going to help y'all with a little bit of both. But we're going to start off with college. Um, <laughs> what school did y'all go to and what year did you start your school? Um, we all went to ODU. 2019. Yeah. Woo! Go Monarchs! Yeah, that was a time to be alive. Yeah. <sighs> if your freshman year was in 2019. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, bro, I'm sorry. It was a time. Okay. Yeah. It was a time. So let's get funny real quick. What major did you start with versus what you finished with? <laughs> <laughs> I started as a bio major in 2019 fall semester. I changed into public health very quickly. <laughs> like, who's next? Oh, okay. I was a. Uh, I started as a public health major. I changed my major three times. <laughs> four times? No, three times or four times. I don't know. But mm -hmm. I ended with um, health admin administration. Um, I changed my major three times <laughs> with one year undecided, so basically four, but I had came into college as a psychology major, and I graduated with cybersecurity. Period. Yeah. It's okay to change, y'all. Go it ahead is. and change. Literally. Go ahead and change if y'all don't change, change, change it. Yes, and it's okay to stay longer than you intended. Just yeah. keep your grades up. Because you never know at that day. You so. never know. <laughs> I kept saying, oh, I'm going to graduate in four, baby. Literally. Period. But I graduated in five and I did it well. Period. Period. Now, next question is, what is one thing you would change about your college experience? I would change not focusing on scholarships as much. I feel like I very much came into college like, I knew I wanted to be out of state. I knew, like, the loans and the money. But it's just like, when you're living in it, you're just kind of like, okay, whatever. But like, then you think of it afterwards and you're like, oh, you could save money a little bit here. You could save money a little bit here. So I would definitely say looking into more scholarships and like creating a, a little bit of a relationship with financial aid because a lot of financial aid like counselors would send um, scholarships and really help you out if you really do make that relationship. So that's definitely something I would change. I think I can agree. I was... I feel like for me, it's a little bit different. Like, even though I'm from the DMV and, like, I had moved back when I was in college, I still paid in-state, like, my whole entire um, college career, which is a, a blessing from God. But I did take out loans, and I feel like had I pushed a little harder, I could have, like, had all of that covered. But, like, I just wasn't really worried about it. Um, but, yeah, I would focus on getting more scholarships. Yeah, but I feel like post-COVID, 
I want to say like college kind of went like how it was supposed to go. I think the mm. only thing I would maybe regret is like not changing my major earlier. Because mm. mm. I used to, when I had came back to school in fall 21, I was a comp sci major. And if y'all know anything about computer science, all programming, software development, that shit is hard. Very. So even cybersecurity, like I switched because like I had all the math that I had taken from comp sci to pass as a cybersecurity major. So yeah, I feel like had I changed earlier, like maybe like maybe a semester earlier, I could have graduated earlier too, but it's fine. Yeah, still it's made it out. So yeah. yeah. Um, for me, I would say being more involved. I, would say, I agree with them too, mm. but mostly from well, my point of view, I would say being more involved and like um like branching out. I feel like I went to school with like a lot of people I knew, like <laughs> and I <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like I was so comfortable with like the people I knew and the group I had and mm -hmm. everything. So yeah, I would would have tried more to meet more people and try to build build relationships with other people instead of who I know. But I love my friends. So yeah. that's basically the opposite question. What would you keep the same for college? I like a lot of things. Or I wish like I'm not trying to like be like savvy or whatever but I wish like a lot of my friends didn't leave school like I feel like me and Olenka like we just graduated in May by that time everybody that we had came into school with was off campus mm -hmm. so I feel like that it would have been nice to still have them around like even though or not have them around but like two of our friends they had graduated with us and one of them had went home and finished school online Sarah left to finish school online so it's like, yeah, like a lot of people that we came into freshman year with, we did not graduate with. Like they either dropped out, graduated a little bit earlier than us, and transferred. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was going to transfer. That's nice, true. So yeah, and I feel like COVID had a lot to do with that, so. Mm-hmm. Um... Oh, I'm also not trying to be big with the day. <laughs> the day. I was literally, you know what's funny? I was going to bring up food, but I was like, I feel like she just like did something really sentimental. Yeah. So I was like, being food is kind of crazy. Okay, the but like, that was really one of the things I was going to say. But then, Rogers at yeah. night. They don't have that no more, Sarah. Yeah. They don't have Rogers late at night no more. Freshman year? Freshman year. It had to be there. The yeah. dead was the spot Rogers. after the parties, bro. Rogers, that was like the dead bro, literally. Bruh. Freshman year was it, bro. It was. Um, Wait, what? But my answer. Hmm. Let me think a little hard. I know. I'm that was a good one, dude. That, that was, was good. good. The one thing I would have kept the same. My whole college experience, because, you know, it's me, me, the person I am today. True. So, you know, everything happens for a reason. So I would say keep that the same. Yeah. That's good. What is one piece of advice you would give college students right now? Hmm. <sighs> that it will be okay that that's it will good. be okay that's all like i feel like in undergrad uh, we were stressed well mm -hmm. i was gonna say i was stressed but we was all we were stressed, stressed. Like, and every, like every single year from freshman to well freshman year like you stress but just like hey yeah. giggling and then you, they, 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 like, they go the next year and you're like oh this is real yeah. stress and then she's like, going. Going. going and then you're about to graduate it's like Dang, I don't know what I'm about to do. Mm -hmm. Like, and you're stressed. But at the end of the day, it will be okay. Don't stress out too much. Just, you know, figure it out. And I also could say that I think you should also figure out, I mean, explore all your um, interests. Because you're very young, so I feel like it's a perfect time to, like, trial and error, trial and error. Like, one thing I'm so grateful for is that um, I did hair in college so that, you know, I could figure out that's what I wanted to do. Or if that's what I didn't want to do. So I would say if you really like something, like you can see yourself doing it, try it out, do it right then and there. Especially if it's a business, you get some money off of it. You know how it is in college. Mm -hmm. So yeah, get a little extra money in your pockets. And then, yeah, you'll be okay. That's it. I would say um, don't always follow your advisor. Because they don't <laughs> you know. <laughs> they do not always know what's best for you and um i feel like my whole i don't want to say my whole college career but like most of my college career i kind of navigated it by myself 
um, especially, most especially my senior year. My senior year, I could not get in contact with my advisor for Nathan. I applied to graduation by myself. Like, I didn't know that in your senior year that you don't have to, well, I don't know how it is for everybody, but for my major and whatever my business, I mean, my school is or whatever, I didn't have to get approval to sign up for classes. So I was sitting waiting for a meeting with my advisor because usually you have That's to meet with your advisor yeah. to register. And yeah, I had missed out on a class and then I had to take it over the summer to actually like finally get my degree. But um, yeah, don't always listen to your advisor. Always check degree works for yourself and also learn how to know or learn how to navigate degree works. Or I don't know what college or system y'all use to show like how many classes and credits you have to take to get your degree. But stay up to date with that. And yeah. Um, for me, um, two things. Um, I feel like college is definitely a time, like definitely trial and error. But I feel like once you figure out what you want to do, set a plan and like stick to it. Because that'll really be helpful and like keeping you in touch with what you want to do and actually helping you focus for the future. Because college can be a little distracting. Like that's people's first glimpse of freedom. That's people's <laughs> first glimpse of seeing boys real <laughs> close as people's first glimpse of having their own space so sometimes it can be a big distraction but remember what you're there for and get it done and um second really find yourself like i feel like your 20s is always like the ages where like you learn who you are what friends you have and stuff like that but i feel like you also learned that in college so i feel like really take the time to learn the lessons in college and make the mistakes in college so you don't make it outside in the real world because making a mistake in your 20s versus a mistake in your 40s is a very big difference. So go ahead and make all the mistakes you can. Obviously, don't be doing too much. Mm -hmm. But literally, allow yourself grace and just remember that you are in college. You're not expected to have your whole life figured out. So remember that. And utilize your college resources. Mm -hmm. Bro, if you're someone who doesn't work out or whatever, Please use that freedom. Yeah. Oh, please do, because that gym membership, baby. Yeah, like, use that gym. Use that gym. Go to that yoga class. Yeah. Like, yeah. Utilize your free resources and, like, learn how to take care of yourself mentally and physically. Mm -hmm. Like, I stayed in the student health, like, just for whatever, checkups, um, pap smears, mm -hmm. like, when you get updates to get one. All of that. That's, that's I don't want to say it's free, but it's, like. It's in that tuition. It's, you, in that it's tuition. not even. Yeah, counseling services, career development services, to work on your resume. Mm -hmm. Like, use your resources at school because in the real world, it's really rough. It's rough. It's scary. <laughs> it's scary. It's scary. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to go into a postgrad a little bit because, boy, do I have stuff to say. Mm -hmm. So, what shocked you the most about postgrad? Anyone can start. That nobody wants to hire you. <laughs> <laughs> because like it's like I'm it's so, so real <laughs> it's so like, real y'all like if you know me or if you went to school with me you know like in my last three years I was Miss Busybody like my resume was long period I had I had two internships under my belt I had a 3.4 GPA oh am I getting a call back for a job <laughs> no no I'm not but I'm not here I'm not complaining about it you know something is on this way soon Amen. but I'm just saying like don't think you're all in a bag of chips. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Very much so. Very much so. Exactly what I'm saying. Like, there's a hundred views on the outside world. Like, so you need to find what sets you apart. And like, that's, true. Mm -hmm. that's why I said utilize them resources, career development, all that stuff. I used a lot of that before I graduated. So like, I kind of have like a clear understanding of like what my resume should look like. But it also depends on your field. But yeah, look for a job before you graduate too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and stack up internships the best way you can. Mm -hmm. That's I think that's one thing I would change about my college career is getting internships earlier than I did. Yeah, yeah. so that's a good one. That is good. I love that too. Um, honestly, what is a shock? I feel like after graduating and not having no school, like it was just so different. Like I was just kind of like, yeah. what is going on? Like literally the month after I graduated, like in January, I was just like. What did I do in my life? It was like five o'clock. But I feel like, like <laughs> I feel like you graduating in like December is worse because like kids go back to school like literally right after. I feel yeah. like for us it was like summers out. Yeah, like, yeah. People, yeah. I really could, I did not know what to do. Like yeah. I literally was just like, oh wow, so this is what people do. Like, yeah. I don't know. 
So yeah, I think that's what shocked me the most, the most. And I feel like people have said that, but just like when you're really living in it, it's just it's like different. it's so it's weird. Mm -hmm. It's so so weird. Um, I think my biggest shock is just like really like understanding that like no one's about to help you do anything anymore. Literally. Like I feel like in college, like I remember like in high school, they were like, oh, they're not gonna call me in college. They do a little bit. <laughs> like a little if you really need help, like college is gonna help you. But like when you get a role, it's actually nobody. And I, I'm just so used to being very much like pampered and all the baby. I'm really the youngest. So literally like now it's very much like, yeah, you're expected to know how you want to get into medical school. You're expected to know which programs you should do. You're expected to know which tuition, what you need to apply to, all you're expected to know all of that. And it's it's a lot it could be a lot. And then also like especially the no hiring thing like um post grad um i kind of expected to like easily be placed into like healthcare like it's like everyone needs healthcare mm -hmm. why wouldn't they just pick me oh no baby <laughs> oh, no baby it's not that easy so be prepared to like not let me not say not immediately go into your field but don't expect like oh i, I have the credentials they're immediately going to place me in there cuz it's actually not that easy i even know adults who are struggling to even be placed in their career and they've had a plethora of years of education so it's just really a drought with jobs in general like it actually just sucks we just came out at like such an inconvenient time but um i don't think anyone should get like discouraged um also just build up your resume like internships is a really good way because experience does help you regardless it doesn't mm -hmm. matter what you do so definitely keep that in mind definitely Another thing that shocked me is like I could really like go out on like a Wednesday. Yeah. Like college, <laughs> like, yeah, you go out, it's like whatever, but it's just like, okay, yeah, you know you have a class in the morning. You know, yeah. like I could literally go to the bar on a Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. And like, just be like, I, okay, whatever. Like, we can make plans during the week. <laughs> like it's so weird. Like personally, I've been having a ball. And it's like <laughs> I've been having a ball. And then it's like like these are my roommates from like freshman year, but we came here to college. We were eighteen. We cannot do nothing. Nothing. <laughs> now we're twenty three. We're going to hotel kickbacks, bro. Now we're 23, 24, planning to go this place, this trip, yeah, on our own. You want my ID here? So I feel like it's just different because yeah. like we're really like adults now. Yeah. And I, I literally like be tell my parents, yeah, I'm going here and here, and they're like, okay. Not and you know my parents that was never a thing it was never four flying years, <laughs> four years ago so it's not flying yeah. Yeah. next question is what is one word you would use to describe post-grad wow um mine is scary that's it scary <laughs> like, um, um you said wow <laughs> yours is scary um they gonna be like damn do we want to I was gonna say it like I'm saying wow I'm saying all these things but like I am in good faith like, mm -hmm. I feel like we all are uh everything's gonna work out for our good I also feel like you need to remember when you're coming out of school you're only like 22 23 mm -hmm. yeah like you have your whole life ahead of you yeah if you keep working hard like some, it's, it's gonna come to pass that's no, why I'm just sure. like wow I've been in a slump for like a month but like I'm kind of getting out of it but like I just ended an internship a month ago so like I need to relax yeah <laughs> like <It's nice>. <laughs> But yeah, it's just wow. I feel like mine is more like, um, well, I would say eye opening, and uh, I guess I'll use clarity as one. Mm, that's um, good. Yeah, like I feel like like in the beginning of post grad, it was like clarity, yeah, but I was very very scared, like what Langa said, mm -hmm. because like it's just like uh, I don't know. But I feel like that time I was using that time to actually like kind of like understand a lot more. Mm -hmm. I feel like once you graduate, you have more time to like kind of like figure it out try to figure out who you really are because mm -hmm. in college like most of them they want to say yeah you go to school and you do yeah. that like no like once you start like once you graduate i feel like it's more of like you know like around like all your friends no more yeah. or like you, like it's kind of like just you you kind of have to like sit and ponder think about what you want and what you want out of life and mm -hmm. stuff so yeah that's my word yeah that's really good and like you can obviously tell like the differences in our answers because Sarah has been post grad a little bit longer than us, yeah. so like for us it's kind of like mm, everything's yeah. like hitting us at once. But yeah. Sarah's kind of like eased her way through yeah. it, so now it's like different. It, it was very scary. Yeah. In the beginning, though. Very, very 
<laughs> question is, I don't even know. Oh, do you think college prepared you for post grad? No. no. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely not. Like, absolutely not. Like, I literally feel like post grad is a literally like you like learning how to swim and just being thrown in the water. Yeah. That's literally the best way to describe yeah. post grad because you're really just trying to learn how to do everything. You're trying to learn how to get back into a routine. You're trying to learn how to get a job. You're trying to learn how to literally live a day to day life. How to? Some people want to go ahead and get apartments and all that stuff. Like, we're doing like really adult things. Mm -hmm. And it's like, then we have to start thinking of the long-term stuff. Like, literally in a few years, I'm getting kicked off my parents' insurance. Like, you start thinking Why? of stuff like that. Why do you have to say that? Oh, because I was thinking about that the other day. And I was like, heard that and I was like, <laughs> stop. Do you know I was calling my parents the other day, pumping gas? You're talking about I'm about to get kicked <laughs> off insurance? Oh, no, 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 no. Like, college definitely doesn't prepare you for that. I feel like, I feel like college is basically like a rubric. Like, it kind of just gives you a vague explanation of what post-grad will be. But until you actually come out and experience it, you'll never know. Like, I can describe to you all, but you won't understand yeah. it until you get yeah. into it. And I it's also different for each for person. Everybody, yeah. yeah. Like, even though me and Olenka graduated at the same time, like, our post-grad experiences are completely, mm -hmm. completely different. Yeah. yeah. So. Last one. Mm. We might think of something else, though, because, like, this has been good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What is one piece of advice you would give people preparing for post grad or currently in the post grad transition? Um, for me, I feel like what's been helping me is just like holding on to my faith. So I feel like somebody who's about to enter post grad, I would just say open, like welcome post grad with open arms because yeah. it's inevitable. Like however which way you spin it, um, as the language said, like everybody's um, post grad life is different, but just like roll with the punches yeah. basically and like keep good faith all will be well yeah that's what i keep telling myself that's really good so <laughs> yeah because i feel like 2024 for me from from january to now has been great nonetheless i have been going through a lot in this last month but it's like all will be well yeah yeah, yeah so Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, I would say a couple of things. I would say um, give yourself grace um, because graduating college is already a really big milestone. I feel like that's another thing people don't talk yeah. about, like how yeah. hard college actually is. Like, especially like parents and stuff, they, they just think yeah. like, oh, college is the only way. Yeah. But college is a lot. Like you learn a lot about yourself mentally, physically, and all these things that you uncover in college. Like it's really a lot. So getting through that already is a big milestone. So getting into this, just think of it as another big milestone. Um, another thing I would say is definitely like find hobbies, find yes. enjoyment in like yes. little things. Because yes. I feel like when I first like post grad, when I first got my job, like I literally was just like, uh, like I'm, I, I'm personally not used to working every day. Like I was definitely work, used to working jobs, but like I was used to, okay, I had this day off in the week. No, but I literally worked every day and I was not used to that. So little like things like little events, like hanging out with my friends on the weekends or little happy hours is definitely something I would look yeah. forward to. Yeah. So literally find like little and things to enjoy, whether it's a hobby, like I definitely always advise people to get a hobby because that's definitely another way to help yourself mentally during like work. Cause just working every day, is not even fun. Not Nobody it. wants to work every day. <laughs> I swear working is like such a man thing to do. Like, <laughs> Men love to work. Women, on the other hand, like it's like it's cute for a little bit, but after a while, we're just like, all right, like so definitely find the enjoyment, um, and just also just take the time to like find what you like to do, find who you are as a person, like literally take this as another like learning experience. Like it doesn't have yeah. to feel like oh like I'm done with school and now it's adult. Like no, yeah. learn yourself as well because you're still in your twenties, like. I feel like your whole twenties is basically school. Yeah. Like learn yourself. Yeah. That, that is very true. true. Mm -hmm. That is very true. I like that. Yeah. I'm just gonna take it back off of what y'all said. Um only because I feel like oh, actually I'll take back off what y'all said and I would also say that um it's okay if you don't know. Like it's okay. Mm -hmm. You just don't know. And um like how Faith said to just welcome post grad with open arms. I feel like when I first was about to graduate, I was very, very anxious. And I was just like, bro, like, I was 
I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't even excited, which mm. I should have, because it is a big milestone. Yeah. And you be Especially happy. for you, like, yeah. yeah, it's a very big milestone. So I feel like you should be happy, and even if like you really just don't know, it is really okay. Your twenties are about figuring it out. So like, don't think like just when you graduate, you're supposed to have the whole plan. And I thought that's how it's supposed to be, mm -hmm. but it, it's really not. Like at the end of the day, like there's people who are even older than us and they're making changes constantly mm -hmm. yeah. and it's okay to change. It's okay. How you gonna tell me, oh, this is the same thing I wanna do in the next five years, okay? Period. So just, you know, just stay calm, be okay, explore everything for yourself. Yes. And yeah, take it day by day. Everything will work out in your favor at the end of the day. So mm -hmm. yeah, that was good. Anything we want to end off with? Like this was so good. Like I don't have any questions, but I'm yeah. so open. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm so open. <laughs> I would say just heavy on the hobbies. Like as I said, I was a busybody in college, so like coming home and like just being at home was kind of like ill. But I feel like when I came home, like I had so many plans. Like I had like three trips, four. I went on four trips in the past <laughs> four months. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> I've been outside and I love it. But like. It is hard to slow down, mm -hmm. slow down, and I'm I'm trying to get into other things like pertaining to my career. But I still keep up hobbies. Like I I am a heavy gym goer. I started modeling. Like who knows? I'm going to start picking. I, I'm about to start practicing makeup on them. So basically, I can launch my business. So yeah, you just need to find joy in little things like on like I said, and just and just keep yourself busy. Like you're gonna continue to learn yourself and. Yeah, hopefully Constantly. we could come back to this video in three years and talk about how we changed. Yeah, yeah. that would be good. I actually was gonna say I feel like um when we get a little bit older, because yeah. the thing is, or we yeah. do it every four years. Yeah, yeah, the thing is, yeah, we graduated college, but we're still so young. Yeah. Like we we're don't so, know anything ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. We don't know so, anything. So we're it's so crazy. discombobulated. Y'all don't even know. Yeah. <laughs> Like, but I, we're, not as, we're not as scattered as we were. Yeah, yeah we're not exactly. scattered as freshmen exactly. here. Like. Exactly. I even think, like, dang, like, you know, we get older. No, baby. No. We are still very young. Very And it's so young. funny because I feel like when you're young, you think you, you have this everything. image. Like, <laughs> I literally, I literally told Faith the other day because I think she asked us a question like, oh, like, how do you feel about, like, if you dated somebody, like, from high school, like, the whole time, right? Mm -hmm. And I was like, if you asked me in high school, I thought that was going to be my reality. I literally thought, I was like, yeah, I thought I was going to be high school sweetheart forever. Oh, no, baby, I got to grip really quick. Like, literally, I had a vision. I was like, okay, when I'm 23, I'm going to be doing this, then a third. I'm 23 and I'm making this video. Like, <laughs> it's just like, it's like, you yeah. never really know. You mm -hmm. really know, like, there's just so many experiences that I've experienced. I was like, well, yeah. I never would have thought this how it was going to play out. Like, even this year, yeah. like, uh, it'll be a chain of events. I'm like, well, did not think that's how this was going to play out. And, like, and that's what I would say. I feel like post COVID has taught me, like, it's okay to have a plan, but it's okay if it doesn't go that way. Mm -hmm. But just like, just Ooh, let's talk about COVID. Yeah. 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 Let's yeah, talk yeah, about COVID. Very, very effective. Let's talk about COVID. COVID. Let's talk can you imagine like freshman year you just made your solid friend group you excited yeah. uh -huh. you excited you just came back from winter break you chilling 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 and can i say the biggest joke though before <laughs> <laughs> one thing about covid that really was so funny is that bro we came back from winter break we we're like yeah it is um it is spring semester. We about to go multicultural <laughs> show, and, and they were supposed to have the the event at uh, Virginia uh, Beach. Yeah. Um, something in the water. Something in the water. Yeah. Something. Yeah. And it, that was the I best was, lineup, y'all. That was the, the best, best lineup. That, and on top of that, like I used to be a, a, a ASA dancer and and um. I'm sorry. I'm say freshman year. <laughs> I used to be an ASA dancer freshman year, and we had got invited to dance at something in the water. And guess who didn't get the dance because of COVID? First of all, Me. first of all, I'm positive him. You can ask them. <laughs> I'm positive him. Even when they sent us home, I said, "Y'all stop playing. We still gonna go." <laughs> we all said it. They, <laughs> they, they I was googling. They canceled, they canceled it, and I was like, "Bro." No. And then it was like that was the week of my birthday. And you know, yeah. and people were actually excited about the lockdown. Yeah. At first, people were really like, "Oh yeah, we about to be out for a month." No, babe, we was out for two years. Yeah. <laughs> it was not funny. Like, COVID was actually, yeah. like, insane. Like, and just imagine, like, going to college and you're in person, you're learning in person, yeah. to literally switch to completely online, living in your African parents' household, 
doing school, I was in chemistry. They don't respect They don't respect me. nothing. Mm -hmm. I'm literally in the middle of my chemistry exam. My mom is downstairs cooking. Yes. It's like, I was literally like, not is this life? Like, I was rotting away in my bed. I'm not even going to <laughs> No, COVID was bad. Like, I feel I like COVID is like, I always knew the importance of mental health, but COVID, mm -hmm. yeah. it really showed me, yeah, like, about mental did. health, like, bro. Yeah, literally. I feel like I'm just getting, like, my will to learn and, like, watch TV and stuff back after post-grad, so. Yeah. COVID yeah. was bad. I feel like it hit everyone so differently, too, because, like, High schoolers that like lost their experiences yeah. as seniors, yeah, like, like of it. different. Yeah, like it's just been bad. Yeah. Like, like there were some children. I remember, like, not 2020, but 2021, when they graduated, they had to like do the like drive through yeah. to get their diplomas. Like, oh yeah, you're right. It's that's, that's, really that's crazy. Sad. Like, and that's how grad cookouts were. Like, yeah. I was just like, Cody was so bad. Yeah, like that was such a nasty year. Like, for the birthday, we would make each other get tested before we. It was like, not any so, game. Oh my gosh! Good thing my birthday wasn't during that time. Well, the peak of COVID. Yeah, that was insane. Like, <laughs> I literally just remember everyone being like, "We gonna go back." Literally. Like, and then when we went back, it was still like COVID guidelines. Oh, it was, people was getting people. If you didn't have the vaccine, you had to get tested every week. Yeah. It was a lot. It was restrictions. Classroom sizes decreased. You couldn't even be in like I the public like, areas, yeah. like too many public spaces. That's when they like, started closing down stuff too, though. I feel like that's why a lot of classes even like became online. Like mm -hmm. my mm -hmm. whole senior year, I don't, I don't, I don't think I had a class in person. Yeah, I think all your classes were online. Yeah, that I was can't crazy. Remember. COVID was insane. Cause the way we went so hard fall semester, if we didn't have COVID. <laughs> this video would be so different. It would be. It would be. We spring semester. Spring semester. I don't think y'all understood. No, spring, spring semester, semester was, was so, going to be the one. So so promising. So it like, was going to be <laughs> the one. <laughs> yeah. That was crazy. Spring was already lit, but spring semester. Spring semester. That's something I really wanted to experience. Like, <laughs> it, no, that's crazy. And you know what's crazy? Like after like our year when we first came in. Like it was school was not the same for a while. Like I think they're just now they're getting, getting back because like now they have like a full like yard semester, and stuff like that. Yeah, our last semester was pretty fun. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, our last semester was really fun. But like, as a but said, now they're, just getting, they're, they're getting, getting back. back. That's that's why homecoming. Years. Oh, I'm be on my head. No, I'm be on my head. Yeah, alumni edition. Yeah, did you guys see how we're wearing all black? That was not planned. Yeah, amigas. Cheers, friends for life. Nothing is ever gonna come between Amiga. <laughs> and y'all, y'all gotta travel, but I have to pay y'all ticket, okay? <laughs> <laughs> because it's scary out here. Like, yeah. our economy is geeking a little yeah. bit. I was gonna have that trouble when I did. Yeah, for real. Now right we're now, just now we're staying down saving, trying to yeah. be big girls. <laughs> yeah. And one more thing for post grad, I think you should say yes more than you say no. Because I feel like when you're saying no, you're kind of missing out on experiences. And whether that's like going out with your friends, traveling, whatever. Like how I just told y'all that I went to four different places in the span of four months. Old Faith would have said no mm -hmm. to half of those trips. I just said yes and I figured it out. Like, I literally went to Mexico, North Carolina, St. Martin, and Chicago. Yeah. Say yes. Because if you want to do something, you're going to figure gonna it out. It. Yeah. yeah. So. You're going to figure it out. For yeah, sure. that's good. I feel like everybody, well, some people like to be like, oh, no, stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down. Yeah. But it's like, have Money a good comes balance. back, bro. Yeah, have a good balance, please. Which makes me <laughs> like, which actually brings me to the point. In college, make memories, y'all. Yes. Like, literally, please make memories. Like, do not be that girl that, like, Let's say you got a relationship, nothing wrong with your mm. relationship, right? But don't be under up that boy the whole time and then you realize like, oh my gosh, yeah, my the whole college, like I just was with a man. Yeah. No, babe, go to that bar. Yeah. Go to that Thirsty Thursday. Thirsty go, Thursday. To that, go to that tailgate. Go to that, that home. Go to that Darty. homecoming tour. Yeah. Go to that darty. Yes. Like, oh, and tour, baby. do a here. homecoming tour, y'all. And one of the literally best record everything. Done. Disposables, Polaroids, yes. cameras. Yes. Make a YouTube channel. Record, record, record. Because you're going to you look me? back. <laughs> you're going to look back. Like, I'm actually so glad I started my YouTube when I did. Because I didn't look at my college event. I'm like, dang. Like, I had such a good time. Yeah. 
Like y'all, please like memories mean so much. They like do. they really do. Like we you really we, don't get that time back. Don't. Like, and like as we keep talking about like our freshman year, we reminisce on our freshman year a lot. Mm -hmm. But we yeah. took so many pictures. Yeah. And yes. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, like so, is that like, serious? So it's like at least we still have that to hold on. No, but too. definitely live in the moment because I was literally like passing my high school the other day. And I was just like, ugh, to be this young again, like, you really used to, like, get money and, like, use it to buy food. <laughs> like, you had no bills. Like, like I just feel like when we were young, we used to be like, oh, I want to be this. I don't get But just living that moment. Like, y'all, yeah. when y'all reach the age, you're going to understand. But literally, just live in the moment. Have fun. Build memories. Live in the moment. Yeah. Don't grow up too fast. I'm telling y'all. Exactly. It's it is very good. Sincerely, y'all big YouTube sisters. Period. <laughs> Period. But we gave y'all all the tea. Mm -hmm. All the advice. Sense. If y'all need more, feel free. Y'all know we like to talk. So yeah. feel free to leave them questions. I love the advice, so. Yeah, me too. Even though I'm still uh, young, so I'm not like. Oh, yeah, no, I can't be like. Don't get wrong. <laughs> we young and tired still. We young and tired still. Don't on. But no, we gonna, yeah, we can yeah, give you a little something based on what we live. We make some stuff. We, we some stuff. <laughs> oh, one thing I actually do want to say, we got in a car since together. Oh, yeah! <laughs> that literally bonded us for life, y'all. That literally bonded us for life. And to that day, to that pussy-ass driver, <laughs> when I find you, we gonna mop you home. We gonna like, mop you. Oh, my God. That okay. literally bonded us for life. Like, yes. literally, college is just such an experience. Like, we literally lived in a dorm together. Then me and Sarah moved into a house together. We had some weird roommates. That's another story for another day. <laughs> That's another story for another day. If y'all watching this and if you need it, we that, gonna mop y'all too. We gonna mop y'all too. You and we that. really got in a car. Can you imagine if we were trying to be mature and go grocery shopping? Grocery shop. Okay, to honestly, it was my fault because I want to go get some plants. Because <laughs> we got we got the groceries at Costco, but it's when I went to I went to the you market. Every market? I was supposed to have some market so bad. I just that was so crazy. Was like okay. the Spice Mobile, bro. I know, right? What's your card name now? I don't have a name. Oh. I do need a name. It's been two years. Though. Yeah, I mean, you need a name, name for that. Wow, that was crazy. I know, right? It's been a while. Your card eat now, though. I still miss Spice Mobile, though. Mm. Rest in peace. I like the that name. Did. Yeah, I'm the one. That <laughs> Spice Mobile and rest in peace to Infinisha too. I know, right? Yeah. I just lost my dog. Ho, ho. Oh, How Life could so you leave? Yeah. Like, two, like, two years from now, I'm going to have a new car to take Sarah. Period. Yeah, and then I'll finally drive them around. Finally, because I'm tired of her being in the passenger seat. Yeah. Just smiling late. <laughs> <laughs> Checking the windows like, Sarah, yeah, you can go ahead now. <laughs> Don't worry, y'all. It's coming. I swear it's coming, y'all. It's coming. Fun, y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you go follow my sisters and their pages. Catch on in four years. Catch on in four years because we definitely come in back. Yeah. Because we are your older YouTube videos, sisters. Period. You're going to see us more on the YouTube. Don't even worry about yeah, it. Yeah, period. I just love my... I ain't got that song for Okay. Bye, y'all. And if I know. Thanks for watching.